Okay, hello. Um, it's me here, Harriet, and someone wanted to know what my accent sounded like, because I told them I'm from Scotland and they thought, oh Scotland, you've probably got an accent like David Tennant or someone. I don't though, I don't sound anything like that. Um, they told me to narrate the story, of, or tell a story of how I met Julian Barrett from the Mighty Bush, because I met him about a fortnight ago now. When I was in London. So this is from my DeviantArt journal because I posted it on there. When I met Julian Barrett by Harriet Connor. Okay, so last Wednesday, 6th July, I went to London for the day. I got the train down from Leeds at quarter to nine in the morning and got into London not long after 11. I spent a few hours in Camden buying touristy crap and then at about half one or so myself and my aunt, who I was with, got on the tube to the Young Vic. I didn't want to eat lunch because I was too excited. Anyway, the show was brilliant and hilarious. I enjoyed it so much. Well, this isn't in the actual story, but the show I went to was it was a play called The Government Inspector, which I thought was quite good. I can't remember who wrote it, but it was some Russian guy. Well. Someone fill me in on this, because I might be working. I took a break from work just to do this video. Ugh. And I can't be able to go onto Wikipedia, because I kind of think it's an unreliable source of information at times. Oh yeah, and at the beginning of this video, you will notice that I put 6th of July. That is because I posted this originally on 11th, 12th of July, beginning of last week. So, yeah, this is nearly two, nearly two weeks old, this video. Who wrote out who? I was Anyway, the show was brilliant and hilarious. I enjoyed it so much. I was right at the back, but I swear Jew was staring at me at one point. Ha ha. After the show, myself and my aunt met my uncle at the bar, and when we sat down, all I could do was stare at the stage door, and my uncle was like, Harriet, give him ten minutes. But all I did was stare. After half an hour, he still hadn't emerged, so we nearly gave up. And so my uncle went and spoke to a member of staff and asked if they could see if Julian was back, still backstage. The woman said, He might have gone home. And I nearly cried then. She went back to see if she could find him, and she didn't reappear, thus somewhat confirming the worst. That was until I turned my back at one point to talk to my aunt. I turned round again, and there he was. I jumped up out of my seat and ran towards him, yelling, Julian, can I get a photo? He turned round and said, yeah, of course you can. I proceeded to tell him I was freaking out and kept apologising. I was thinking of asking him for a hug, but thought, okay, how do I word this without sounding creepy? So I blurted out, this may sound strange, but can I hug you? And he said, yeah, of course you can. Hello. And he stretched his arms out, and I fell against him and hugged him and went, ah, and he hugged me back. I told him I was with my aunt and uncle, and then my aunt came over and I gave her the camera. <laughs> he was eating beef monster munch. Yeah, I, I had to. There were some of my cupboards, so I thought, why not, why not? He was eating beef monster munch at the time, and when we posed for the photo, he sort of whispered in my ear, I'm sorry, I'm eating monster munch. I told him it was alright, and I didn't mind. As we left the young Vic, my aunt kept saying thanks to him, and so did I. Then we went to Chinatown for dinner, and all I ate was a few bowls of rice. And I felt sick with excitement on the way back up to Leeds. <laughs> alright, that was my... Extremely disturbing accent, um, an extremely disturbing story, and um, I hope you know, now know what I sound like, because I don't really think I sound nice, I sound a bit funny. Goodbye.